Walls are not generally known for their conversational skills, so much so that the phrase talking to a wall is synonymous with the idea that you are wasting your time doing something impossible, which is precisely why GE used the phrase talking to a wall for one of its unimpossible missions. They sent GE text to the Berlin Wall, and not only were they able to talk to it, they were able to get it to pass along a message. The piece of equipment they use is a refined little bit of engineering that I was so fascinated by, I decided to do a little bit more experimenting in my shop with it. Here are all the parts I need for testing this accelerometer. One is, of course, the accelerometer. This is precisely the unit they attach to the Berlin Wall and an oscilloscope, which should be able to read the signals that this is putting out. Now, an accelerometer can tell where it's moving in three-dimensional space, and how it does that is pretty cool. At the heart of an accelerometer is a little bit of mass, like this ball bearing, although in fact it's much, much tinier. Now, if I place that ball bearing on a scale like this and weigh it, it weighs a certain weight. If I move it up, it's going to weigh a little bit more while I'm moving it up because I'm pushing against gravity. By the same token, if I move it down, it weighs a little bit less, sort of like the feeling you get when you're riding in an elevator. Now just imagine this ball bearing surrounded on all six sides by scales, highly sensitive scales that can read where that ball is moving in space. That's how an accelerometer does its job. All right, we are all set up. The accelerometer is on the underside of my 200 pound granite chunk. The oscilloscope is hooked up to it. We're actually getting readings. I have here a penny, a pin, and a feather. I think the order I'm going to do this should be pretty obvious. Okay, here comes first the pen. I expect to see a pretty big spike from this. Here we go. Exactly. Now, the pin. Can our accelerometer hear a pin drop? Here we go. Yeah! Very cool. Okay. Now the one, I'm not even sure if this is going to work. A single feather. Got it. Amazing. This is a four inch thick, 200 pound slab of solid granite. And our accelerometer had no trouble detecting the touch of a feather from the other side of that chunk of granite. That's amazing. I don't know why I'm still talking quietly. Of course, GE uses incredible tech like this for much more than listening to feathers and walls. They attach them to things like turbines and jet engines, and it can give them everything from a detailed analysis of the engine's operation to detecting problems before they occur. This allows GE to prevent power outages, flight delays, and factory shutdowns. Now, if you've watched this video before you've seen the original Unimpossible Mission, like talking to a wall, well, watch it now.